Hi guys, this is App Unwrapper. I'm back with Adventure Escape Mysteries, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to get through Chapter 2 of Picture Perfect. Enjoy! All right, talk to the flower girl. So let's get the four flowers. Open this. Get the mixer bottle and the step stool. This cork is a key. Use the step stool on the basket up there and use this key to open this. Now we have two more mixer bottles. All right, give her the basket and the flowers. All right, look at this. We're going to come back to it, okay? It's the password for the Wi-Fi. It would go in this phone here on the chair. We'll come back to that because I want to do the drinks first. So tap on the drinks. All right, so I want to get rid of that little exclamation point. So this is the drink mixing puzzle. You need to find the right balance so for each drink. So these the, the recipe at the bottom shows you how many of each icon you need. So for the first drink, it's going to look like this. Okay, for the next one, this, you see how the icons add up, and now two red. Alright, so the last one, you want green. I hope you see, like, the recipe at the bottom and the icons in there. There's not really much else to explain. This is just pretty straightforward. There we go. Alright, we only have two drinks. She wants one. And he wants one. All right. Now, let's figure out the Wi-Fi password. So, if you look at this, L105VE, the two numbers are erased. So, if you look at Forever at Overlook Orchard, notice that there's only one L. That's why it's one. And there are five O's. So just count the V's and you get two V's and three E's. So the numbers that are missing are two and three. So the password you're going to enter is L one O five V two E three.
Okay. So now talk to the people facing you. Okay, so we're going to get tips from each of them. And now her. All right, so now look at your notebook. These are the five rules, okay? Tips, whatever you want to call them, notes. So go through this doorway. Okay, so if you look at the notebook, notice that number two says, whenever possible, take a path with roses to smell along the way. And here there are roses. So let's go right. So here, it says, never cross a bridge that goes straight or to the right. And it says, that's number one. And for five, it says, you must pass exactly two benches along the way. So we're going to pass. Oh, and it also says whenever possible, take uh, avoid birds unless you have no choice. So there are birds to the right. There's a bridge up ahead. So we're going to pass the bench. So take a left. Okay. This one. Um, it says you must pass the fountain. It will be on your right as you walk by. So if you go left, the fountain will be on your right. So head left. Okay. Here we have birds. It says avoid birds unless you have no choice. We have a choice. We're going to go straight. Okay. Here it says never cross a bridge that goes straight or to the right. And you only have to avoid birds if you have no choice. Here, we can't go on either bridge, so we're going to go left. And you must pass exactly two benches along the way. That's tip five. We only passed one. So here's another. On the right, we're going to go right. All right, first, let's collect some evidence, footprints. The wallet. Move and grab this bar, this iron bar. Now use the iron bar. And look at this clue. So we have to figure out, with this clue, the four missing arrows. Um, it's hard to actually show you, but I have on my website. Um, I filled it out. So the idea is for the second, so the first arrow is down, the next arrow is left. For the third arrow, you want to kind of look at it upside down and then orient the fourth arrow, the same direction it would be if you're looking at it, it as though the arrow's pointing down. It's hard to explain, but basically it's going to end up being right. Um, that's the way you can figure these all out. Just try 
to look at the third arrow as though it's pointing the direction is the first arrow, and then you can figure out the fourth arrow. Um, so you end up with the top one is pointing east. Um, the next one is northwest, southeast, and northwest again. All right. Uh, before we deal with these, though, come over here. We have two more pieces of evidence. Okay. So now we have those arrows. They look like this again, remember? This is easier to show you on my site. But anyway, basically once you have those arrows, you wanna go to the right of the silver circle, then northwest of the red circle, then southeast of the black circle, and northwest of the yellow circle. There we go. Let's go through. Okay, so you have to make exactly 21 moves, and it has to alternate between tree and flowers, okay? So it looks like this. And one more. There we go. <laughs> All right, grab the rocks closest to you and the stick. And now use the stick to get the last rock. Now we have five rocks. You can't throw them at the bear, so you're going to throw them at this sign, okay? All right, let's check out the body. All right, photograph the phone. Or bag it, whatever. The scratches. The string or thread. The kiss on his cheek. All right, take the body bag, use it on him, and now take a look at this. All right, so we need the helicopter that's missing, uh, but it's basically just a pattern. If you look at each one, uh, they all have one as the first number, but for the second number, you subtract two for each. So the second number for the one we need would be two. 
For the third number, it's adding 1, so, we would, so ours would be 5, 3, 4, 5, 6. The last one is subtracting 1, so 7, 6, 5, 4. So you end up with 1, 3, 5, uh, rather 1, 2, 5.5, five, because it's minus 2 for 6, 4, 2, 0. So 1, 2, 5.5. Five. Hey, what happened? Oh. And that's the end of chapter two. I'll be back with chapter three in the next video. If you enjoyed this, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks. Bye-bye.